Hello everyone. This is the question asked in GATE 2021 Civil Engineering Set 2. In the figure shown above, PQRS is a square. The shaded portion is formed by the intersection of sectors or circles with radius equal to the side of the squares and centers at S and Q respectively. Now, the probability that any point picked randomly within the square falls in the shaded area is. So, basically I have to determine the probability that if I take any random point in the square, what is the probability that point that particular point falls in the shaded area? So uh, for contrast, let's imagine that the shaded area encompasses the whole of the square. Now instead of this shaded area, the shaded area is co the complete square. Now if I take any random point within the square that random point would automatically fall within the shaded area as well so that would make the probability of any random point that falls within the shaded area as one and also if i decrease the shaded area uh, within the square to a smaller quantity then that would also decrease the probability of any random point falling within that shaded area so with this deduction, I can very well be sure that the probability of any point falling within the shaded area that lies within the square is directly proportional to the area of the shaded region. If the area is increased, the probability of any point falling within that shaded area would also increase. So with this logic, let's look at some useful data that we would be requiring in solving this question. So, First is the area of the sector of the circle of radius r. So if I have a circle and if I have a sector uh, which is subtending an angle theta at the center, then the area of this sector would be given by theta upon 360 degree into pi r square. And the second thing is the area of a right angle triangle with base P and height H is half into base into height and the area of the square with side A is A square. So let's use this information and solve this question. So I have been given with a square and within that square I have been given two sectors that form a, form a segment like this. So now what I can do is if I draw a diagonal line then I can determine the area of this particular sector that is formed by, uh, by the sector taking the center as center at S. So if I take this particular sector which is subtended by a circle with center at s and radius equals to r then and if I subtract the area of this particular right angle triangle then I can get the area of this small half segment. So the idea is to subtract the area of the sector with the area of the triangle so that I can get the area of the half segment. So I know that the area of the sector can be determined by using theta upon 360 degree into pi r square. Now here the angle which is subtended at the center is 90 degree since this is a square. Therefore the area of the sector can be given as 90 degree upon 360 degree into pi r square which would be equal to pi r square upon 4 and the area of the right angle triangle could be given by half times base times height which can be given by half times the base and the height are both r which would be equal to r square by 2. Now the area of the semi segment 
can be given by the difference of the area of the sector and the area of the right angle triangle which is pi r square by 4 minus r square by 2. Now this is the area of the half semi segment that I am looking for but if I have to determine the area of the full segment I can just multiply this thing by 2. So the area of the complete segment would be given by 2 times pi r square by 4 minus r square by 2 which would by simplification would be r square times pi by 2 minus 1. Now this is the area of the segment of the square PQR and S, PQRS. Now to determine the probability that any point that falls in the square lies within this shaded area can be given by the ratio of the area of the segment and the area of the square. So the probability that point X lies within the shaded area could be given by area of segment divided by area of the square. Now area of the segment we deduced as r square times pi over 2 minus 1 and the area of square is side times side which is r square. So the area of the, the probability that any point that falls within the square lies in the shaded area is pi upon 2 minus 1 and this matches with option C. So option C pi upon 2 minus 1 is our right answer. Thank you.